hello queens and welcome back to my channel today i have a makeup guide today's look is going to be a simple classy out on a date with my four kids trip to the mall look i hope you enjoy make sure you like subscribe share and leave comments of what you would like to see next So I'm starting out with my MAC Strobe Cream and then my MAC Strobe Lotion, which are great for moisturizing. Then I received a sample from Too Faced for an eye primer. Eyebrows, we love doing eyebrows, not really. So I'm using my pencil in the shade Stud. This is my go-to to Give me my basis of the eyebrow that I am trying to create. So I'm doing my outline, basically drawing how I want it, filling just a little bit. Now I'm using my Anastasia Brow Pomade, which I just started using recently. And I'm going in and I'm doing short strokes to create similar hair. Now it's time to conceal and clean up. I'm cleaning up underneath of my eyebrows because I really need my eyebrows done but I haven't had time. But concealer will help carry you over until you are able to get in and get those bad boys waxed. I'm bringing it down onto my lid a little bit to help set my eyeshadow as well when I get ready to apply. And here I am concealing my imperfections on my nose, on my face, pretty much wherever. Under my eyes, I'm using a red concealer to help hide those dark circles. So now I'm applying my MAC Studio Fix Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. I am going to cover up everything over my concealers, both the red and the light. While I'm doing this, let me tell you briefly why we want to use red to conceal your dark circles. Red counters blue. In the world of art, that's just what it does. And if you wanna hide anything that's a blue base, i.e. dark circles, you want to use red or orange or anything in the red family. So in this video, I'm doing some contouring with MAC NC55. Right under my cheekbones, I have really high cheekbones as it is, and at my jawline is where I'm focusing. If you wanna slim your nose, go down the size of your nose. You may have to turn your face a little bit because you don't wanna look like you have a broke nose. You can also minimize your forehead by going on the outer spots of the forehead and define your chin. And I am going to bake with the MAC Studio Finish Face Powder. I love this powder. Look how thick it is. It is super shiny. You're going to see exactly why it is awesome for highlighting, baking, all of that. So carefully, I am applying it into all of the areas where I want the light to really reflect my cheekbones, uh, a little bit on my forehead it'll be a little bit down my nose right at my cupid's bow on my lip and at the bottom of my chin make sure you pack it on super thick that way you can bake with it admire your work MAC Maleficent palette. I love this palette. I take it everywhere I go. I am using the black color and on to my lid it goes. So now I'm going to take the gold color in the Maleficent palette and use it on the inside of my lids blending it towards the center crease. The brown color in the Maleficent palette and 
that's gonna go into my crease. Now admire your magical work. It looks crazy right now, but hold on. I am going to apply concealer, which is my skin tone, over the red concealer that I applied under my eyes. And here we are, buffing, polishing. Still buffing and polishing. Basically, I'm trying to blend in all of the excess powder into the rest of my face. I have my beauty blender, which I have already spritzed with my botanical rose water, just to help close those pores up. I am going in and basically beating my face. Not violently, but really soft using upward motions to push all of the product up and into my face. This is going to help minimize your pores and blend all of that craziness that looked like it was war paint or something together. And now for my eyeliner. I'm using my MAC Liquid Last Eyeliner. Oh my god! So as you see, I made a big oops. But that's okay because we are going to remove it with a flat eyeshadow brush, pressing gently. So I'm using the MAC Glitter Pigment in Reflex Rust and the MAC 214 brush to apply glitter. One of my favorite blushes is the Pedro Lorenco. And I'm using my 109 brush to apply it. Now I'm going back with my 214 brush and applying sketch to the bottom of my lids. And now more eyebrow action. I am still blending it in, removing the harsh lines, and why do I have a text right now? Now for lipstick, I love this MAC Jean-Baptiste Valley Eugenia lipstick. It's a beautiful dark burgundy red, perfect for the fall and winter time. Um, I don't line my lips, like I said, because I create this crazy big lip thing. So now I'm going to finish it up with my perfecting powder. More blending. You can never blend or polish too many times. Mascara time, and I'm using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black. I have to talk about my lashes real quick. I do have the American Full Volume Nova Lash, and that is why I do not wear strips. Right now, I'm on four weeks fill, though. I need one. And this is my finished look. You better work, girl. Work the camera. So I hope you enjoy this guide and was able to get something out of it. If you liked it, please make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, and check out my other videos. Links are posted below and see you next time.